Une seconde. Voilà. Vous pouvez y aller. Ah, ça va maintenant, calmez-vous. Gérard Depardieu is an actor, director, businessman, and vineyard owner. Despite characterizing himself as an uncouth peasant, Depardieu became one of the most successful and popular French actors in the world. What happened to Gérard Depardieu and how the famous French actor lives now? Gérard Xavier Marcel Depardieu was born on December 27, 1948, in the city of Châteauroux, in central France. His father, René, was an illiterate roofer, and his mother, Lilette, as her family called her, was the daughter of a military pilot and was engaged in raising her children. At the time of Gérard's birth, there were already two children in his family, Elaine and Elena. The family constantly lived on the edge of poverty, mainly on social benefits, so when Lilette found out that she was pregnant with her third child, she tried several times to get rid of him on her own, but with no success. Soon, their financial situation deteriorated further when Depardieu Sr. started drinking and disappearing from home. Later, three more children were born to the family, Catherine, Frank, and Eric, so Gerard from the age of seven helped his mother deliver the babies. The parents often left their children home alone, and the rest of the time rarely even gave them any attention or parental love. Due to this, little Gerard developed problems with his speech, forming a stutter, so he spent almost all of his childhood communicating with gestures and short phrases. The insecure and silent boy did well in elementary school, but later he started neglecting his studies. As a teenager, Depardieu spent more time on the streets in the nearby American airbase than at home. He was raised by the street, a world of petty thieves, brawlers, and drunks. In his autobiography, he said that at the age of 10, he looked 15, and in order to get money, he provided intimate services. His clients were truck drivers. The boy spent school holidays with his grandmother, who cleaned the public toilets at Orly Airport in the suburbs of Paris. According to him, it was the happiest time of his life. He would listen to the names of distant cities and dream that one day he would also fly far away. In 1962, Depardieu received a certificate of incomplete secondary education and started working in a printing house as a press operator. In his spare time, he practiced boxing, and he even broke his nose in one of the sparring sessions. Depardieu's intimidating appearance made him popular among his friends. They often took part in the cigarette trade, petty theft, along with stealing and reselling fuel from the American base. Sometimes Gerard would also help thieves dig up fresh graves to remove the dead people's jewelry and shoes. The teenager was repeatedly arrested by the police, and they even had a file on him. His parents were advised to send their son to a juvenile colony. At the age of 16, he served three weeks in prison for stealing a car. At the same age, he was rushed into the hospital for alcohol poisoning. The doctors had to practically drag him back from beyond. Gerard often ran away from home and hitchhiked all over the country. He even made it to the Mediterranean coast and worked part-time on the beaches there. In the fall of 1965, his friend, who was going to enter a theater school in Paris, suggested that Depardieu go with him to the capital. There on a whim, he went to see the school and attracted the attention of a professor, who asked the young man to act out a scene. Unlike the other applicants, Gerard was relaxed and free in expressing his emotions, receiving a positive reaction from the teacher and other students. This inspired Depardieu to take up acting seriously and enroll in courses taught by Jean Laurent Cachet, one of the most famous theater teachers in France. At the theater school, Gerard studied for free, and he also worked as an assistant director. To earn a living, he worked at a train station unloading cars. At the same time, Depardieu started improving himself as an actor. He fixed his speech and enthusiastically read French classics, which he did not have the chance to as a child. In 1967, Gérard Depardieu first appeared in cinema, playing the main role of the beatnik in the short film, The Beatnik and the Puss. In Paris, the young man continued to engage in illegal activities. In May of 1968, he made a good profit from anti-government protests, stealing watches and purses out of students' pockets. Around the fall of 1968, Gérard met a student at the Cochet School, Elizabeth Guinot. Even though the girl was from a rich family, she was not worried about the difference in social status or the cultural gap between her and Depardieu. 
yet she was worried because she was six years older than him. On April 11, 1970, the young couple got married, and a year later their first child, Guillaume, was born, and two years later they had a daughter, Julie. This marriage was hardly ideal, due to him constantly having affairs. Relationships with his children were also strained. Gerard, like his own father, did not know how to show them love and care. Guillaume followed in his father's footsteps. He abused alcohol and drugs in his teens, engaged in theft, and was sentenced to prison terms several times. In 2008, the young man died of pneumonia. As for Julie, she also became an actress and considered her father an unreliable person, who she has no desire to be compared to. At the same time, Depardieu began to actively act in films, mainly in minor roles or TV projects. After graduating from acting school, Depardieu started participating in an amateur theater called Café de la Gare. There he met the director Bertrand Blier, who eventually invited the young actor to act in the film adaptation of his own novel, Going Places. Ils ont même pas laissé un sucre, c'est rade. Non mais par contre, c'est tout un stock de papier cul. Du trèfle à sonore ouaté, ça t'intéresse The film was released in March 1974 and caused an unprecedented stir. It was called the most scandalous and at the same time, the most amazing film. And Depardieu became both a popular actor and a national hero among the youth. In the film, Gerard essentially played himself. A guy who leads a carefree lifestyle and is engaged in robberies and car theft. In the next few years, Depardieu often appeared on the screen in such films as Vincent Francois Paul and others, The Last Woman, This Sweet Sickness, Get Out of Your Handkerchiefs, Bye Bye Monkey, The Dogs, Cold Cuts, Inspector Blunder, Lulu, My American Uncle and others. In 1980, the drama The Last Metro premiered, in which Gerard took on the role of actor Bernard Granger. His on-screen lover was played by Catherine Deneuve. For this role, Depardieu received his first cinematic award, Caesar. Many tabloids called out the actor's affair with Deneuve. In addition to The Last Metro, for the next two years, they starred together in the films I Love You All and Choice of Arms, but they themselves claimed to be just friends. Depardieu had a second wave of great success when he worked on the set with Pierre Richard. Their first joint project was the comedy Knock on Wood in 1981. And while Gerard wanted to get Richard's role, the director refused to give it to him, instead giving it to Richard. To get revenge, the actor made the filming process rather difficult. He would throw tantrums, go on a binge, and so forth. Working conditions were already difficult. The film was shot in Mexico outdoors in the heat of 122 degrees, and Depardieu was even bitten by a scorpion. In the same year, the actor starred in the drama Woman Next Door. A year later in the film The Big Brother, and in 1982, the historical dramas Danton and The Return of Martin Guerra were released. In 1983, Gerard Depardieu and Pierre Richard followed up their success in the film Comdads. In the same year, the film Moon in the Gutter was released, where Depardieu starred together with Nastasia Kinski. After that, the French press wrote that the actors had an affair, and they even spent the night in a hotel under false names. The following year, Depardieu played the main roles in the films Fort Sagana, Right Bank, Left Bank, and Tartuffe. In 1985, the actor won the Silver Prize at the Venice Film Festival for his role in the crime drama Police. It was followed by the dramatic comedy One Woman or Two. In the next year, the film's three fugitives, Jean de Fleurette and Menage, were released. In the next three years, Depardieu appeared in the films Under the Son of Satan, A Strange Place to Meet, Camille Claudel, Two, and Too Beautiful for You. The next stage of his acting career was the film Serrano de Bajarac, released in 1990. Un honneur chiffonné, des scrupules en deuil, mais je marche sans rien sur moi qui ne reluise, en panaché d'indépendance et de franchise. Il suffit! The Frenchman played the main character and received 3 million French francs. Depardieu was nominated for an Oscar, won another Caesar Award, and the Cannes Film Festival Award for Best Actor. Gerard also delivered his thank you speech in Serrano style, thanking everyone with whom he worked on this film. 
After Serrano, Gerard was invited to play the main role in the Hollywood film Green Card. Isn't that Mozart? I know. For which the actor received the Golden Globe. Then came the films My Father the Hero, All the Mornings of the World, A Pure Formality, Colonel Charbert, Elisa, Guardian Angels, and others. Meanwhile, Depardieu's personal life was just as eventful. In 1992, he had an illegitimate daughter, Roxana, from a black model and actress, Karen Silla. It became public years later, when the actor had already broken up with the baby's mother. After that, Gerard separated from his wife Elizabeth, and in 1996 she filed for divorce. Depardieu didn't remain single for long. He started an affair with the actress Carol Bouquet, whom he had met back in 1979 on the set of the film Cold Cuts. In 2005, they broke up because of Carol's jealousy. There was plenty of reasons. Depardieu was credited with relationships with so many of his co-stars, including Isabelle Adjani and Whoopi Goldberg. With the latter, the Frenchman starred in the 1996 film comedy Bogus. He received $2.4 million for this film. At the same time, Depardieu appeared in the films Hamlet, The Best Job in the World, The Secret Agent, and Unhook the Stars. In the same year, the actor became a Knight of the Legion of Honor. The following year, he was awarded the Golden Lion at the Venice Festival for his contribution to cinema. The dramatic comedy XXL, which was released in 1997, was followed by a number of successful films. Those were The Man in the Iron Mask, where the actor received 2.3 million euros, and Bimbaland, as well as the miniseries The Count of Monte Cristo, for which he received $1,145,000. J'ai cherché quelque chose de plus original que le sempiternel pâté en croûte et le saumon à la ravigote. J'ai pensé que c'était par nostalgie. Nostalgie Mais quelle nostalgie In February 1999, the comedy Asterix and Obelix Take on Caesar premiered. In the film, Gérard Depardieu appeared in an incredibly comical image of Obelix. Later, the dramas Balzac and The Bridge were released. In 2000, Depardieu played with Uma Thurman in the historical drama Vatel, for which he received 2.4 million euros. Then he worked with Glenn Close in the family comedy 102 Dalmatians, appeared as Jean Valjean in the miniseries Les Miserables, and starred in the Russian drama The Envy of the Gods. In 2001, the actor appeared in the fantasy Vidok, the comedy The Closet, and the military drama Unfair Competition. And in 2002, in addition to numerous appearances in supporting roles, Gerard played in the dramas A Loving Father and Roy Blas, and in the second part of the film franchise Asterix and Obelix, Mission Cleopatra. In 2003, Depardieu starred in the Russian TV series Deadly Force, as well as the films Volpone, Ruby and Quentin, Bon Voyage, The Pact of Silence, and Crime Spree. In the next few years, the actor added several other films to his filmography, such as San Antonio, The 36, Changing Times, Let's Be Friends, Paris, I Love You. In the latter, he also directed one of the stories. In 2005, Gerard Depardieu began dating the writer Clementine Igu, and they're still together to this day. She repeatedly forgave the actor for his affairs. In 2006, he recognized the boy Jean as his son. His mother was Helene Bizeau, the daughter of a famous Khmer Buddhist. Their affair was fleeting during the time when Gerard was into the Buddhist religion. As Depardieu said in one of his interviews, he has at least 20 illegitimate children. He just bribed his way out of trouble in time. In the following years, the Frenchman played the main roles in the films Michou of Debert, Asterix at the Olympic Games, Dumas, Bellamy, and Diamond 13. For the last two films, Depardieu received 1.5 million euros. In 2010, Gerard Depardieu starred in the science fiction film Glenn, the Flying Robot. The comedy dramas My Afternoons with Margaret and Mammoth. The drama Small World and the comedy Trophy Wife. For each of them, he received 200,000 euros. In 2011, Depardieu was at the center of attention because of a high-profile scandal involving obscene behavior. On his way from Paris to Dublin, during takeoff, the actor decided to go to the bathroom, but the flight attendant asked him to wait until the plane was in the air. 
According to the passengers, the actor was drunk and decided to relieve himself right there in the cabin. The following year, he was charged with assault and battery for striking a driver in Paris. Later, the famous actor filed a response complaint and accused the offender of extremely dangerous driving and non-compliance with traffic rules. And in November 2012, Gerard was arrested for drunk driving after he fell off a scooter. Meanwhile, the Frenchman starred in the dramas The Man Who Laughs and the Kazaki film My Sinful Angel. In the same year, another film about the adventures of two Gauls based on the 1966 comics Asterix and Obelix, God Save Britannia, was released. Gerard Depardieu was the only actor to appear in all four films of the franchise. At the end of the year, Depardieu moved to Belgium to avoid paying a temporary super tax on luxury of 75%, and after a while even renounced his French citizenship. In a letter published by French newspapers, the actor claimed to have lost 85% of his income due to French taxes in the previous 12 months. He also said that he paid $192 million in taxes to the French government over the four decades of his career. In January 2013, Russian President Vladimir Putin granted Gerard Russian citizenship. Depardieu registered in Saransk, where he moved around the city in a car with a blue beacon light, although their use is limited by law. In 2013, the actor played the main roles in the films A Farewell to Fools, Les Invincibles, The Mark of the Angels, Misere. Depardieu also starred in the Russian film version of Rasputin. In the following years, the actor continued to actively act, more often in cameo or minor roles. He appeared in the main roles in the films Welcome to New York, Victor, The Valley of Love, Saint Amour, the TV series Marseille, and others. In addition, Depardieu played Joseph Stalin in the drama Stalin's Couch. The following year, Gerard Depardieu played one of the main roles in the films Fahim and Heavy Duty. In June, there were reports that his sole entrepreneur accounts in Russian banks were blocked. The amount of debt was unknown. The account of the company Gerard Depardieu Production Center, created in 2016, was blocked at the beginning of the year too. By that time, the actor had already tried to get Turkish and Algerian citizenship, but with no success. On August 31st, 2020, the war drama Homefront was released. Shortly before that, the actor was detained in Paris for drunk driving and his scooter was confiscated. While waiting, he told the police that he no longer wanted to be French, but preferred Vladimir Putin. In September, Depardieu converted to Eastern Orthodox at the St. Alexander Nevsky Cathedral in Paris. It is noteworthy that earlier the actor was Islamized and also was fond of Buddhism and Hinduism. In February 2021, the French police reopened an investigation that was previously closed in 2019. It was about Depardieu's accusation of raping a young actress and dancer. Back in August of 2018, the actor presumably invited the girl, the daughter of his friend, to his Paris apartment for a play rehearsal in an informal setting. The Frenchman denied all the charges against him. The release of the historical drama Lost Illusions, the crime comedy Do You Do You Saint Tropez, and the horror film Twins are planned for this year. Depardieu also began working on an animated series for adults under the working title Only Depardieu Knows, based on anecdotes from his life. Gerard Depardieu's net worth is estimated at $250 million. In addition to cinema, Depardieu is professionally engaged in winemaking. He bought a 12th century castle in the Loire River Valley and 67 acres of vineyards that Clementine Ugu now manages. The actor also opened wine cellars around the world, but some of them were closed because they were unprofitable. Previously, Depardieu was the owner of two restaurants in Paris, but in 2019, there were reports that he put up all the property for auction. It included a wine cellar with vintage wines at a price of up to 6,000 euros per bottle. By the way, Depardieu is known for his love of cooking, and among the five books he has written, one of them is on the culinary arts. Depardieu often invests money in businesses, but not always successfully. In 2013, he put money into the investment company holding 2712 in Belgium, but three years later it suffered a loss of 62,000 euros. 
His attempt to open a bar in Tournai, Belgium also failed. Gerard Depardieu is also a Belgian citizen and pays taxes there if he films in Europe. But no one knows exactly where the famous actor lives now. In 2012, the actor bought a villa called White Cloud in the southwest region of Belgium. The interior of the house was painted in a simple and clean white color that blends well with wooden furniture. Gerard Depardieu put the villa up for sale several times, pricing it at 800,000 euros, but experts estimated its worth at 1.2 million euros. Since the actor received Russian citizenship, he has become the owner of several real estate properties in Russia with a total value of about $320,000. To start, a five-room apartment in the capital of Chechnya with an area of 2,150 square feet cost about $200,000. The two-story apartment with ceilings that are 10 feet high is located on the 27th floor of the residential building Olymp in the Grozny city complex. The apartment building has a helipad, high-speed elevators, an autonomous power plant, underground parking, and 24-hour security. By the way, along with the apartment, Depardieu received the title of Honorary Citizen of the Chechen Republic. In the village of Beli Stolby near Moscow, the Frenchman purchased a half-acre plot where he built a Russian-style house. The average price of 1,000 feet in this area is $7,000. Also, Gerard Depardieu received a plot of 0.4 acres near Minsk, which is the capital of Belarus. Depardieu previously owned property in Paris. It was a 19th century mansion with an area of 18,000 square feet with 20 rooms, a kitchen, terrace, indoor pool, elevator, and small garden. The house was designed as an artist's studio and is filled with various art objects and a staircase made of glass and metal. Gerard Depardieu has repeatedly become the face of various advertising campaigns. The Ukrainian operator Kiev Star, the Armenian airline Arm Avia, the Bain Credit Agricole, the store Elisevsky in St. Petersburg, the furniture factory Maria, and the Bank Soviet. At the request of the Ministry of Culture and Tourism of Azerbaijan, he also advertised Azerbaijani cuisine. In 2014, the actor collaborated with a watch brand Kustos and released a limited series of watches called Proud to be Russian. And in January of this year, together with Volga Rechen's Fishery, he released a brand of black caviar called Selected Depardieu. Depardieu prefers motorcycles and scooters to cars. It is known that in 1998, the actor was in a motorcycle accident and was also repeatedly detained for drunk driving. In addition, the actor has his own private jet. Gerard Depardieu's filmography includes more than 250 works. And which of those roles is your favorite? If you like the video, please like it and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything interesting.